ourselves in the presence of our God, in the environment, in the spirit of worship and prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Salamat Lord sa nakilang araw na ito, Panginoon, na kami ay yung nawabuli sa iyong presensya, Lord. Ito nga, Panginoon, ikaw ay tapat, Panginoon. You are always good. You are always faithful, Lord. Your grace never runs na Nauubos, Panginoon. Hindi siya nauubos, Panginoon. Your mercy is always overflowing, Panginoon. Your unconditional love, Panginoon, it always covers us, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord. Because indeed, there's no one that satisfy us, Panginoon. But only your love. Only your presence. Only you in our lives, Lord. Indeed, Panginoon, you are our creator. You know who we are, Panginoon. From the number of our hairs, Panginoon, up to our toes, Panginoon. You know who we are, Panginoon. You know the deepest part of our hearts, Panginoon. You know the deepest longing that we have, Panginoon. You know our doubts. You know our fears. You know our struggles. You know our battles, Panginoon. You know who we are, Panginoon, because you are a God who created us, Panginoon. And thank you, Father God. Dahil today, pinaalala muli sa amin, Panginoon, na kami ay iyong mga anak, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for you have called us your children, Panginoon. Thank you, Father God, for the day is your day, Panginoon. It is not about us, Panginoon. It is not about our problems, Panginoon. It is not about our issues, Panginoon. But it is only you, Panginoon. That's why you are here, Panginoon. Nagpapakubaba, Panginoon. Father, we ask for forgiveness, Panginoon, for all the sins that we have committed, Panginoon. We believe that you are a righteous God. We believe, Panginoon, that you are a holy God. We believe, Panginoon, that you want only a perfect children, Panginoon. But in the same way, Panginoon, you truly understand that we are weak, Panginoon. You truly understand that we are created from dust, Panginoon. We have our limitations, Panginoon. But thank you, Father God, when you said in your word that if we just confess our sins, you are always faithful to forgive us, Panginoon. That's why, Panginoon, we are here in front of you with all our honesty, Panginoon. We humble ourselves, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mali na aming ginawa, Panginoon, sa lahat ng naisip namin, sa lahat ng nasabi ng puso namin, Panginoon, na mali, Panginoon. You said in your word, Panginoon, that we should love you, Panginoon, with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our strength, with all who we are, Panginoon. But sometimes, Panginoon, we forget it, Panginoon. And we just become selfish person, Panginoon. So, Lord, again, patuloy kami na nagpapakapumbaba, Panginoon. Humihingi na yung kapatawaran, Panginoon, at paglilinis sa lahat ng aming kasalanan, Panginoon. We pray, Father God, that the Holy Spirit, Panginoon, will continue to speak on us, Panginoon, to reveal the things, Panginoon, na mali sa aming buhay, Panginoon, upang ito ay mag-correct, maging correct, Panginoon, at ikaw ay magbigyan po namin ng glory, Panginoon, sa abawat oras, sa bawat aming pagkilas, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for that forgiveness to your Son, Jesus Christ, Panginoon. And today, Panginoon, we pray, Father God, that you will continue to bless your people, Panginoon. Reveal things, Panginoon, sa kanila, Panginoon, sa amin, Panginoon, na hindi pa namin naunawaan, Panginoon. Bagong, buga, ah, bagong mga bagay, Panginoon, na patuloy na magpapakilala, Panginoon, kung gaano mo kami kamahal, Panginoon, kung gaano kakapangyarihan, Panginoon, kung gaano kakapangyarihan upang kami ay iyong alayari, Panginoon, sa lahat ng gumugulo, na kasalanan sa lahat na gumugulo Panginoon, na pagsubok, suliranin, or fears, or doubts sa aming buhay, Panginoon. And thank you, Father God, because you said in your word that you, you will never leave us, you will never forsake us. And today, Panginoon, you will speak to us, Panginoon, specifically, Panginoon, 
whatever the desires of our heart, Panginoon. And through your word today, Panginoon, reveal to us amazing things, Panginoon, that it will help us, Panginoon, to stand firm in this faith, Panginoon, that no matter what the world will throw to us, we will never surrender, Panginoon, because we believe, Panginoon, that you are a faithful God, Panginoon, you are an overcomer, Panginoon, and indeed you are also overcomer, Panginoon. Thank you, Father God, for you have given us the divine power, Panginoon, to do everything good, Panginoon. And today, Panginoon, we claim the empowerment from all, for all these people, Panginoon. Kung ano man yung struggles namin, Panginoon, whatever man issues na meron kami, Panginoon, whatever battles, Panginoon, we believe that you will, will, you will be empowering us today, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Continue to bless your people, Panginoon. And we pray, Father God, whatever man na gawain ng away today, Panginoon, we rebuke it, Panginoon, in the name of Jesus Christ, Panginoon. Only your power, Panginoon, only your word, Panginoon, only your truth and light, Panginoon, will be re revealed in this place, Panginoon, in that place, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for the day. Sa ilang namin pinabalik ang lahat na pakuri. At kasi salamat, Panginoon. Praise be to God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And you greet the person sitting beside you. You look great today. I'm glad that you are here. Welcome to Logos Global Missions, Taicho. So my name is Brother Alvin. Ako po ay, ay ako po ay isang servant katulad na mga tumatay dito. Servant the Lord. So. I am here, privileged to be of service sa ating Panginoon. And we are all here, of course, because we believe that God has created us. And we have nothing, and there's no purpose in this life other than we are, we are destined to know our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to obey Him. To commit our life to Him, and of course, and of course, believing that we are all destined to eternity. So welcome again to Logos Global Missions Taichung. Na ano ako magsabi na Shinju? So kaniya pa man na Shinju? Atulad niyo ako isang OFW rent, right? So magku four years, amagku five years na ako sa Taiwan. Praise God for His goodness. Faithfulness, sa kanyang mercy sa buhay. And may first timer po ba tayo? Amen. Can we raise our hand? First timer po? Yay! Praise God! So first timer po natin. Okay, so do you have your logos today? Amen. So logos, global missions. So we have our vision, we have our mission. If you can, if you can read it there, Logos Global Mission, of course, we don't leave any other name other than the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the vision of this church is to be an engaging and responsive Christian organization, intentionally missional, holistically catering to the needs of people, actively promoting a biblical culture that will pass to generations. So yun yung vision ng church na ito. So we can have a biblical culture. That's why we have our connect groups. That's why we have our 40. We have our E12. So we can dig more who God is in our lives. And our mission, connecting people to God, to exalt, to engage, to embrace, to equip everyone, to empower, to extend, and enlarge. Ibig sabihin, we are not only satisfied that we are saved, we are having this mission to go out and spread the love of Jesus and spread His salvation. Para tayo lahat ay, of course, hindi lang tayo yung, ayan, tignan yung katabi mo, hindi lang tayo tayo yung nagsiselebrate sa heaven, kundi pati yung mga tao sa, sa, sa pamilya natin, sa katrabaho natin, or even yung kaaway natin. Amen? Can I invite our first timers here to the front so we can bless you and praise and give uh, bless you and pray for you? Wala po tayong gagawin. Wala po tayong membership fee. Wala tayong, wala kayo, hindi kayo sasayaw. 
or hindi kayo aawit, pero maglalaro tayo ng FF Parade. <laughs> Yan. <laughs> Praise God sa mga buhay nila. Sino po nag-invite? Can you raise your hand if you have invited this person? Yeah, praise God for this life. So, patuloy po tayo. Kasi, tinawag tayo ng Panginoon para makatulong sa ating kapwa na hindi lang tayo yung nakakaranas kung gaano kabuti ang Panginoon, kundi pati rin yung ibang tao. Amen. Amen. So, nandang na ba kayo maglaro? <laughs> yung price natin, yung... Please introduce your name and then kung saan company ko. At yung door na rin. Ah, sige. Name na lang at company. Ako po, si Carolyn Verlica. Si Bill po. Si Bill. Si Angelica. Si Bill. Si Bill. Wow. Si Bill Lackson po, may one. Pwede siya. Cindy Ryan po. Hindi po sa CP. For East Express po. Ah, Ayra Bas. From? Bas. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you for today, Panginoon. We glorify your name in this place, Panginoon. Thank you, Father God, for these wonderful children that you have brought this uh, today, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, because you they are your princesses. They are your daughters, Panginoon. You have created, Panginoon. You have created them, Panginoon. Precious in your eyes, Panginoon. And salamat, Lord, the hell today is a day, Panginoon, that you will reveal more of yourself to them, Panginoon. Today is a day, Panginoon, na mas maunawaan, Panginoon. At nila, Panginoon, yung pagmamahal mo, Panginoon, kung bakit mo sila nilikha, Panginoon. At salamat, Lord, dahil binigyan mo sila ng privilege na ito na mabuhay, Panginoon, na ikaw ay kilalanin, Panginoon. So we pray, Father God, whatever the desires of their hearts, Panginoon, whatever the questions they have, Panginoon, whatever doubts or fears, Panginoon, in specific way, Panginoon, answer them, Panginoon, sa araw na ito, Panginoon. At naway, Panginoon, yung kasagutan na ito, Panginoon, ang magbigay sa ila, Panginoon, ng panal ng palataya, Panginoon, upang mas ha, dakilain ka nila, Panginoon, upang saliksikan pa nila, Panginoon, ikaw sa kanila mga buhay, Panginoon. We pray, Father God, that you will continue to bless the work of their hands, Panginoon. You may continue to bless them, Panginoon, their companies, Panginoon. Keep them safe, Panginoon, sa kanilang trabaho, Panginoon. At naway, Panginoon, lahat ng kanilang gagawin, Panginoon, ay magsilbing pagpapala lang, Panginoon. Continue to protect them, Panginoon, from all the worlds of evil and of this world, Panginoon. And we pray, Father God, that only Uh, only goodness and faithfulness uh, will uh, overflow in their lives, Panginoon. As we bless them, Panginoon, continue to bless and protect their families also in the Philippines, Panginoon. And we pray, Father God, that today is a day, Panginoon, of victory, Panginoon, a day of freedom, Panginoon, and a day, Panginoon, of you, Panginoon, sa buhay nila, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for these wonderful lives, Panginoon. Continue to bless them, Panginoon. We bring back to you all the glory, all the honor, with praises and worship and thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Welcome again. Let me take your seat. So hopefully, we can see you next Sunday kapag off tayo. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so, meron po tayo. So, our theme for this month is Empowered to Win. Sino na ang nanalo dito? Amen. Amen. Oh, nang nanalo. Amen. Can you raise your hand if one point in your life nanalo kayo sa isang sa isang pagimpala or anumang struggle or battle in your life? Amen. 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 Sino dito they consider themselves as talinan? Wala na ba di ba? Wala. Praise God. I have prepared a video. See, can you please play? Play it. But we're not showing that either. After that, we're not. <laughs>
Tracy looks as though he's pushing a little bit. Alvin looks to see where the opposition is. Upright. Beautifully relaxed. 200 metres to go. And one feels that there's only one man with a killer threat there. Alvin looks to see where Tracy is. A chest in. Look at him. Sino ang nanalo? Yung naka-green or naka-red? Sino nagsabi yung naka-red? Sino nagsabi yung naka-green? Sino ang ayaw mag-participate? <laughs> Sige, dahil ang mata ko kasi medyo malabo na rin. So, let's have our replay. Yung mabagal. So the athlete in read, the athlete in read, red, sorry, was about to win, di ba? Siya na sana yung mananalo. However, he celebrated before he crossed the finish line. Tama? Which caused him to lose his focus and eventually awards the gold medal. Sana. Tama? It is not bad to celebrate. But make sure that you already crossed the finish line before declaring yourself as the winner. Sabi nga nila, bawal mag-assume. Baka masaktan ka lang. <laughs> and we believe that that athlete had learned from his mistake and his loss. Don't celebrate too soon. Di ba? Don't celebrate too soon. So he learned something. I hope he learned something from that loss. Sabi nga ni John Maxwell, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. 
Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Only if you want to learn from that loss. Let us open our Bible in Matthew. In Matthew. In Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. Are you there? Thank you, sis. So our topic for today is humility empowers us to win. Let us open our Bible, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. If you don't have your Bible, if you don't have your app, I believe you do have your cell phone. So please download the Bible because it really helps. Kapag tayo ay nangihina at may pinagdadaanan. The Word of God will always encourage us. Let us open, uh, let us read Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. I will be reading from Amplified Version. Are you familiar with this version? Yes. A man's pride and sense of self-importance will bring him down. But he who has a humble spirit will obtain honor. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, salamat Panginoon sa araw na ito, Panginoon. Salamat sa salita na binigay mo sa amin today, Panginoon. We pray, Father God, that these words, Panginoon, will continue to change our lives, Panginoon. Thank you, Father God, dahil kasama ng iyong mga salita, Panginoon, ay pagbabago, Panginoon. Kasama ng iyong salita, Panginoon, ay pagpapala, Panginoon. At kasama ng iyong salita, Panginoon, ay kaligtasan. We pray, Father God, that you will continue to reveal, Panginoon, whatever your word today, Panginoon, sa bawat buhay na nandito, Panginoon. And we pray, Father God, that we will not just hear of your words, Panginoon, but we pray, Panginoon, with your help, that we will be doers of it, Panginoon. Salamat, Lord, for giving us the sample of, of humility, Panginoon, through your Son, Jesus Christ, Panginoon. And we pray, Father God, that same as Jesus Christ, Panginoon, we can also be humble, Panginoon, in, in every areas of our lives, Panginoon, because you have called us to be like Jesus. Panginoon. Salamat Lord for your word. Bless your word, Panginoon. Bless your people. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So sana panalo na yung isa, di ba? Kaso, medyo arrogant siya. Ano yung sabihin ng arrogance? It is an insulting way of thinking or behaving that come from believing that you are better, that you are smarter, or more important than other people. Arrogance. Also known as, right? Pretentious or egotism. Pretentious, di ba? Yung nakaret kanina ay nagpretend na siya ay nanalo na. So, he lost his focus. Di ba? Nag-raise siya na kanyang hand. nag na siya. Siguro mga 2 centimeters away from the finish line. See? Being successful is not about your skills, your talents, what you know your beauty, how sexy is your body. It's, di ba? Kung gaano kagaling kumanta, kung gaano kagaling magsalita, kung gaano kagaling sa business, in leadership or in writing. There are people who are talented. However, talent alone is not enough that you can say a person will succeed because it has to have an attitude. We may have all the talent, but if our attitude is wrong, winning will always be out of reach. So today and this month and this year, we believe that we are empowered by God to win. However, if you want to win, first we must learn, we must learn what humility is and what humility can, can help us win in every battle in our lives. So what is humility, by the way? Humility is the opposite of arrogance, of pride, the quality or state of not thinking that you are better than the other people. Sino na ang Come on, raise your hand. Bawal mag-pretend. 
egotism, right? The opposite of humility. Sa nabasa nating text kanina, a man's pride and sense of self-importance will bring him down. But he who has a humble spirit will obtain honor. When you have honor, it also means that you are a winner already. So what? So how humility can empower us? Or what humility can win? If we are humble, paano ba tayo matutulungan? So let's point Let's go to point number one. Humility wins us our identity. Identity. Humility is being honest to yourself and to others. A humble person carefully examines himself, his strength, his limitations, and the sources of everything he has. And if he carefully examine himself with all his honesty, it will lead to his identity. Diba? If a person can demonstrate honesty to himself, he would not think that he is better, that he is more, uh, that he is smarter or more important than other people. If you are humble, you will not compare yourself to others. A humble person would not behave as a person that he is not. That's why when we say arrogance, yung Sinonim nito ay pretentious. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka nagpe-pretend na hindi naman ikaw. They are original. They are original. And they are not fake. Di ba habang tumatanda tayo, it becomes increasingly harder for us to feel that we are less important than other people. Diba? Habang tumatanda tayo, nagpakaedad tayo, look at the person sitting beside you. <laughs> Habang tumatanda tayo, marami ta, diba? Mas nagiging mahirap sa atin, diba? Na makita natin yung sarili natin na less important tayo compared sa katabi natin. Why? Because of our achievements. Because of our accomplishments. Dahil sa laman ng ating ATM, dahil sa, dahil sa ating natapos, or dahil sa ating position sa company, or maybe sa church. Di ba? We become... Na, what I mean is na mas nahihirapan tayo na ma-feel na tayo ay less important. However, Jesus teaches us that we should be like children. O, tignan mo ulit yung katabi mo. Yeah, di ba? Baby look naman siya. Jesus teaches us to be like children. However, hindi sinabi sa atin ni Jesus na tayo ay maging katulad na, na maging childish tayo. Di ba? In Matthew chapter 18, verse 3 to 5, and he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Diba yung, yung mga disciples, they are already preoccupied that time about the organization organizational structure ni Jesus dito sa earthly kingdom. They are preoccupied, that's why they lost their focus kung ano ba talaga ang purpose nila, kung bakit sila nandun. Bakit sila tinawag ni Jesus as their disciples. Diba? Instead of seeking a place of service, thank you so much Brad for the avian water. <laughs> Instead na mag-focus sila sa pagsiserve, they are out of focus. They became out of focus and they sought position of their advantage. That's why tinanong nila si Jesus na who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Who is then? However, 
However, Jesus teaches us and uses a child to help us from our self-centeredness. Bakit bata ang ginawang example ni Jesus Christ? Children do not have achievements and accomplishments. They have nothing to offer. They have to rely to the other people so they can live. Sama? They are helpless and without other people, they are nothing. Sama? That's why Jesus has called us to be like children. We should identify ourselves at tulad ng children na hindi pinagmamalaki kung ano yung achievement natin, kung ano yung accomplishment natin, or ano ang kakayahan natin. 